That was kind of cool. Like, it's really cool to, like, pick it, pick it and can it, yes. preserve it. Good afternoon, beautiful people. And where are we walking first? Uh, this way, Green Beans. This way, okay. All right, so, it's been a busy couple days. We ended up not posting yesterday because we had some friends over. Yeah. And we just kind of enjoyed. enjoyed our friends yeah. and had dinner. And by the time it came time to finish a vlog that I had started, it was already like nine o'clock. So we yeah. just said, you know what? We'll just skip a day, yeah. so. All right, so today we are actually venturing out into the garden. <laughs> The garden that I feel like I have abandoned because I am burned out on garden right now. It kind of happens in August, like yeah. every year. It's just like, yeah, I'm done with it. Judging by people's comments, I've seen a lot of people's comments. I came out here the, last week and was like mowing the foot tall grass that I've let grow. And people are like, oh, you're kind of inspiring me to go out and actually like deal with my garden. And it was like, yeah, because I myself have gotten to the point it's hot it's i mean it's and everything's just, growing faster than you can deal yeah, with like we're gonna pick some green beans right now and we should have picked green beans a month ago on these plants probably these ones are just coming in this is our second planting we had potatoes here first we pulled them out and we put in green beans yeah. just some bush this, beans this is our first flush off of this batch they look loaded they do so, so we'll see how many we get we are going to go around and pick stuff that we need to pick yeah. so <laughs> we'll bring you guys along with us. There's probably like way more okra than oh, uh, should be on this. It's plant. all right though. The way I view it is, if it gets too big and woody for us to eat, we can feed it to the animals. Exactly. So it's yeah. not a loss. It's... And then I mean, some we can save for seed too. Yeah, so. that's true. It's all good. All right, let's pick some green beans okay. before it gets too Do hot. It. Okay, you want to pick everything? Uh, everything that's not too small. I can't believe how many green beans each one of these plants puts out. Yeah, that's kind of a lot. And there's like a thousand more green beans <laughs> coming. All right, that is a whole basket. Yep. Out of, I just counted, this is 37 plants. I'm actually kind of glad that all of them yeah, didn't make it. Yeah, there were a lot more. <laughs> this is probably about 50% of what we planted in this bed. I can see some that we missed. So there's even more in there. And then there's little ones that'll yeah, be the, ready the in bitty ones. about a week or so. Like that little guy. Mm. Little ones are so they tender. They are tender, They're so good. All right, let's go check the ones on the trellis. See if there's any left. See if there's any left. I know there's a lot that we should have picked, but we didn't. And so we're just going to save them for shelly beans. Mm -hmm. Or so, seed. Or yeah. seed. Yeah. All right, let's go over there and see. Okay. Oh, before we go too far. Doo -doo -doo -doo, that's a nice one. These are uh, raspberries we got from Stark last year at Homesteaders of America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they weren't supposed to produce fruit this year. It's supposed to be next year. You know, this year's canes are next year's fruit vines. Mm -hmm. Well, it produced canes and set fruit. Yeah, we're kind of amazed. A little confused. Yeah, we're kind of amazed. Like, there's enough we can actually sit out here and eat. So, I'm going to set the camera down before Meg eats them all. Hey! All right. Those, you are right. Those are done. Well, did we want to pick the, the ones up on the trellis? No, I think we'll just leave everything now and let it seed dry out and okay we can do that we'll did it. we ever end up getting any uh no. kidney beans or uh, or what are the beans. lima beans those are my king of the garden butter beans and this is the black eyed peas and i think i saw one pot on them the other day that's really weird like the plants <laughs> look great they do they look amazing i just i don't know why they're not fruiting oh, with everything else fruiting so they must have nutritional differences the yeah. lima versus the green beans yeah that could be What's going on? Yeah. I mean, this is a brand new garden. We've never gardened here. Right. Outside and of this all you here. did was put amendments. Yeah. We so. didn't really have compost in here. Yeah. We had a little bit, but not enough. I mean, obviously the nitrogen was on point. <laughs> I did want to show you guys while I was over here. This is the acorn squash I planted. I don't know if we've showed you guys this, but these things are loaded. Yeah. 
Look, there's, Woo! there's a big old one. That's a big one. Damn. Like everywhere you look, there's acorn there's squash. There's a bunch. Yeah, they're, they're doing great. So we still have mm, about a month and a half before our frost date. Hopefully they'll be done in time. We're headed, it's the, uh, the home stretch before our first frost date, because most of this stuff will be done by the time we get a good frost. But like last year, the Cherokee tan, they actually held on until November? Yeah, it was November. Yeah. It wasn't until we got down into the teens yeah. that the Cherokee tan finally just, they're that done. They, yeah. couldn't, they couldn't hang on. Doing we'll good. just let everything just coast, and then as soon as it all freezes, then I'll just mow and clear out and make a giant compost pile. Cool. All right, we're going to let those beans hang. Yeah. And we're going to go over here and pick some peppers. I should probably detour and grab another basket. Uh, that, yeah, that probably. one's pretty full. All right, I'll meet you at the peppers. Okay. All the peppers. All the peppers. So, this is our sweet. So far I've only been picking them red, because that's what I've wanted for my recipes and stuff. I think we'll start picking green ones now. Okay. And then that way I can start getting them chopped and in the freezer for meals this winter. Which is very nice having all the, the bell pepper. Yeah. You can have stuff like Philly cheesesteak in the dead of winter. Right? And it's quite, so quite good. awesome to have fresh flavors. I think that's been one of the weirdest things is learning how to eat out of the garden, eat what you grow. It's not just like, hey, we're gonna grow this thing and we're gonna eat it. There's been a lot of reprogramming. You know, what's in season? When do you eat stuff in season? How can you take stuff and eat it out of season? Right. Well, peppers. Peppers are a very, very much a summer crop. Yeah. So to have bell peppers in the dead of winter doesn't make sense. Right. Like, how far did that pepper have to drive to get to your grocery store? In a fresh state. In a fresh state in the dead of winter. I mean, that's coming from the Southern hemisphere most likely. Right. Stuff like this that we can chop up and freeze. If it's getting cooked, it's already gonna turn kind of mushy anyways, so right. it doesn't matter. Yeah. The other stuff we can dry, all of this. Yeah, that's also been a reprogramming like, oh, it's not, I went to the store and I bought six peppers and I'm gonna use those six peppers. It's like, now I have 2,500 pounds of peppers. <laughs> So it's about 100 pounds of peppers. Okay, my bad. What are we gonna do with all these peppers? <laughs> and then figuring out, oh, I could chop them and put them in the freezer and we can eat them as mm -hmm. Philly cheesesteak and I could dry them and we could do this, like, mm -hmm. you know, all the things. Well, I think what's been cool too is just drying them and using the pepper powder in seasoning yes. for cooking a piece of meat or right. a soup or something oh, that you want. Red pepper powder. Red pepper powder, it adds so much flavor. It's kind of like paprika, but better. Yeah, it tastes like roasted red pepper. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. And so, so it adds, adds that flavor. It adds like a meaty earthiness. Yeah, it's really good. I think they call that umami. Yeah. All right, I'll quit yak and we can pick peppers. Okay. Oh, there's a cat. There you are. <laughs> Lurking in the pepper. You just gotta be all up in all business. She loves garden time. Look at all the goodies. Yeah. Lots of goodies. Lots of goodies. Two baskets and three, three baskets. Cool. It's a happy sight. All right, figured while I'm out here, I'll show you what I worked on yesterday. All right, that one's climbing. Probably up around 120. All right, so yesterday was the day that I got all of the compost dealt with. So I figured while we were out here, I was gonna come over here and check. These are all piles that I built yesterday. Let that climb up there, yeah. So they're active. Hi, Nancy. Dinosaur. Ow. So I actually filmed all of this yesterday when we were in here building compost. So. We will put that footage right now. You guys can see what we did yesterday. And then I guess we're gonna get back in there in the kitchen and deal with everything.
All right, pile's gone. I brought up a few more wood chips. Now we're gonna pull the sides off this and turn it to right there. I think I can turn it with the tractor. Corbin, can you grab the lawnmower and mow all of this, all these sticker plants? got this pile flipped and watered back in it can sit for one more week and then it'll move down there to as what we're referring to as the compost bank now we get to rake up everything that's in there that was the pile where that gray chicken is standing that'll all come and we'll put it back we'll build this thing again and we'll make a pile a high pile So right there at the end, I threw a scoop of feed in and then buried it. I noticed with the last pile right there, a couple things going on. Uh, when I was chipping, there's random sticks littered all over the ground out there in the woods where I've been chipping. Well, some of those sticks are cedar that has been on the ground for who knows how long. And I've chipped it. Well, I would say probably the stuff that we're working with right now that pile and this pile, maybe 1% of everything in there, maybe 2% on the high side is actual cedar. But what I'm noticing is this batch of wood chips that has just a tiny bit of cedar in it, seems like it's not wanting to compost as well, which it's cedar, that's what it's known for. It doesn't rot. So I didn't fill this cage as full. I want the chickens to really work it over. That's why I buried some feed in there so they'll really go to town working over. And then in a few days, I'm gonna come in and I'll just top it off with wood chips, continue the same process. Who knew that getting a wood chipper would enable us to be able to make compost on this scale? All right, the snapping has begun. What'd you call the other day, the snapping? The snapping. <laughs> the snapping. Hey, hey, what's snapping? <laughs> All right, I am gonna go help Jack cut up some wood on the table saw real quick and I'll be back and I'll, I'll begin snapping. Happening. Every single stuff in one you have. got a rock okay try to wrap this video up while she's over here it's like the end of the day yeah. buggy goes like the switch has been flipped she's far enough away from nap time to where the naps used up right but it's not quite bedtime yet yeah. and she's like she hits her second wind and about now before dinner she starts destroying everything <laughs> like, like she is a 
20 pound tornado. She really is. Like, it's just it like. It's adorable, but it's like, whoa, you move fast. I went and got her out of one mess that she was making, and as I'm cleaning up the mess, where'd she go? <laughs> oh, she's over here making another mess. <laughs> and you clean up that one, and she's on to the next. It's just like. It's a tally. It is a talent. She's she's talented. Yes. All right. So the green beans are depressurizing. Yes. Uh, they're done. almost done. Mm -hmm. That was kind of cool. Like it's really cool to like pick it, pick it, and can it, yes. preserve it. It's just it's a really cool feeling. Yeah. We're we are going to be so thankful in a few months. Yes, we are. Dead of winter. But, oh yeah, crack open this. And... So I keep telling myself, yes. we're gonna be thankful. <laughs> Come winter. <laughs> uh, all right, so I think we're just gonna wrap it up here. Dinner's nothing special. Like I said earlier, we had guests over yeah. yesterday, so we've got leftovers. Yeah, just got roast chicken. Leftover chicken. Yeah. Leftover pie. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're not sharing that. No. Oh, okay. That's mine. Okay. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Leftover pie. I'm putting some rice in the instant pot, so we'll have rice to go with it. Easy dinner. Green Easy beans. Dinner. And green beans batch or the rest of the green beans that didn't fit in didn't the can. So. <laughs> That's all right. We can make that work yeah. for a serving. Yeah, that'll be good. Cool. All right, we're going to wrap it up right here. All right. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.